every hour of every day. Good morning, dear. Lovely. A baby is born in Britain. Well, I'll tell you Okay, so I'm just looking through Abby's history, Stella. See that? Hello, Abby. Um, honey. Not good. Yep. Honey. Herpes. Honey. Mm. Double glove. Alright, okay. just be careful with that. Herpes. Right, Stella, that CTG all right? Yeah, it was fine. Okay, let's just pull these curtains round then and we'll just examine that bit. <laughs> all right then. So Stella's going to examine you. Did you wash hands? Yes, I have. Two pairs of gloves. Okay. All right. So what, what, what's happened? So you've not done this before? It's no. all right, Abby. Don't worry about that. Basically, what Stella's going to do is only what I would have done to you, which is just give you a vaginal examination and pop this little tampon in. I'll just whip these curtains round. Right, ladies. Yeah, you're next. Um, so, do you work, Abby? Um, yeah, part time. How much do you do? Um, well, I sell things on eBay and stuff. Right, okay. Um, and do you get any benefits? Um, well, you get your pension, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah. And you manage fine? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Social services involvement? Um, yeah. You do, you have a social worker. Mm -hmm. And the name of the social worker? Sue. Sue. Hey. So, um, has your partner any other children? Yeah, you've got yeah. ten, haven't you? Yeah. Ten altogether? Yeah, I've been married three times. Okay, so you see those Before, other children? Before, no. right. You see those other children? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish he. Um, do you smoke, Abby? Um, do you drink, Abby? Yes. It's um, yeah, well, yeah, well, sometimes I'll have a glass of wine. But what to make a go around? Okay. More like one or two bottles. Bottles? Well, one or two bottles of wine. Yes. Well, well... On occasion. On occasion. Um, you know the effects of the baby that smoking and drinking has? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the others are all smaller, so that suits me down to the ground, so... Baby. Yeah. Um, any drugs, Abby? Yeah. Do you no. take drugs? Have you taken yeah. drugs? Cannabis? She, crack. she has a can of beer. A can of beer. Yeah, I do like a can of beer, actually. Right, um, yeah. so back to drugs. Heroin? No. Heroin, she does Cocaine. Cocaine, Cocaine yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hello, you Ruth. Take your notes. 
for you. Alright, how are you doing? How are you coping? Okay. Alright, if we just go up this way, we'll find a room, have a look through your notes, have a discussion about your birth plan, all that you wanted, okay? How do you feel you've been coping at home? Alright, yeah, you're doing well. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what's your name? Bruce. Bruce. Okay, Bruce. I'm Abby and I'll be looking after you. Okay. Oh. Hello, Abby. Hi, Emma. You are. Right? Yes. Hello. Good. How are you? Our students. Yeah, we've met. Yes. You are. Right. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. This is Ruth and Bruce. Hi. Okay. Um, doing brilliantly well. Ooh. Really well. Ruth's um, a primate, um, completely low risk, and um, she came in at six Ooh. centimeters, so it's coping fun. really well with all the baths and everything at mm -hmm. home. Um, we have tried to keep her as low risk as possible. We've moved the bed back. Just to give yeah, her a little bit see. of extra. We don't really have much space there. Really. No, but she's been doing pretty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's yeah, using she's the birthing bad. balls really well. We're listening in every 15 minutes. Um, baby's happy. She's contracting three to four in ten. Strong to palpate. Okay. Um, so I think she's progressing quite nicely. Um, Bruce has been a fantastic support. They've been using quite a lot of massage. She's got quite a lot of pain in her back. Um, we've been through her birth plan. Um, well done, Ruth. Well done. You're doing really well. Breathe through it. That's it. Keep going. Well done, Ruth. That's great. Well done. Um, so, yeah, she wants to try to avoid pepidin epidural. She can. You're the first baby? Yeah, she's, do oh, she's, she, oh, she's coping fantastically. Um, and, yeah, just she's been eating, drinking, mobilising, all the really? usual. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's, okay. she's doing brilliantly. Okay, so I'll pass that all over to right, you. Right, thank you. I'll be straight forward, fingers right. crossed, okay? Right, Ruth, I'm going to say goodbye to you, okay? You well, you thank you. You're welcome. You're doing thank brilliantly you well. And I'm going to come and see you and your baby on postnatal ward tomorrow. Alright, well done. Thank You're you. doing brilliantly. Keep it up. Okay. okay, see you later. I've got Bye, you guys. Abby. Stella, Ooh. if we can just get the room sorted out, we need the bed back in. Okay, okay Ruth, we're going to get you on the bed, darling. Okay, You're going to be much more comfortable up there. If we just get the room right. back to normal. Yeah. And I'll chat, yeah. Stella, could you go and get a CTG? Yeah. I just think, you know, we should get a Okay, room. no problem. You've got to push, 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 push all the way down through your bottom now. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, Ruth, you have to push properly. Oh, yeah. Come on now, Ruth. If you can't do this, we're going to have to call the doctor in. Oh, I need to speak to the doctor in the room, mate. We've had this woman yeah. in there. She's been all over this. And ever since Emma's come in, she's ended up in Sintar. I don't know right. why. She's moved the bed back into the middle of the room. We've got her on the bed. She's okay. now got an epidural. Right. It's so unfair. That is the nature of midwifery, okay. still. You know, wow. things don't always go to plan. It's not always nice and fluffy like you think it is at university, to be honest. Yeah, but I just don't think it's fair on the women. You know, well, now she's strapped to the not. bed with loads of wires, Sinto going. But she's safe, Stella. She's uh, well monitored, she's that's the main thing. Anyway, Doctor, we need you in roommate, please. Prolonged labour. She's not got the right attitude. No. Look, I've only given her 25 bits of paperwork to fill out and she can't even keep on top of the office. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like five minute off the jaw of Sinto. She's, just came she's out. complaining we've moved the bed she back. She came out questioning why you put her on Sinto. I know. I think you need to get hold of the university and have a word about that. I think you're right. Yeah. All right. See you later. So you did finish your secondary school education? No, I dropped out before. Right, okay. Well, you've done your bit for society by having lots of children, haven't you? Um, now, we've just got to ask you about mental health status. Have you, um, do you suffer from any mental illness? Um, yeah, I've got um, quite a long history of mental health issues, really. Yeah, I suppose having more children doesn't help. Um, I I don't think they're the cause of it. Right, so yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's um, do you um do you have any treatment for your mental health issue? 
Um, yeah, got medication. This is a little question we have to ask everybody. Is the oh, is yeah, is Brian the, the baby's father? Oh. Yes. And is he a blood oh. blood relation at all? Oh. A blood relation. First cousin, mm. second cousin. No. An age of baby's father. Age oh, okay. hey, 67. Right, well done, Emma, that was good. Yeah. Right, took a bit longer than I thought um, because of all the children she's got, another lot living off benefits. Yeah. Never have thought that he would have been the father either, mm. would you? He's got the mother kids. I know, oh well, that's the world today. Oh. This the adoption worked. Yeah, a section. You had a section? Yeah. yeah, I had a section too. What yeah. about you? Yeah, I had a section. No. Any idea why? No. I don't know. Okay.